age groups that we serve in NYA are from age nine years old to 15 years old. The reason why I created the NYA is because I wanted to give the youth something that I didn't have. What attracted me to the program, speaking with Lucas, um, was the, was wasn't really even about basketball. It was more about everything else, the life coaching, um, the reading program. So I looked at it more as a, a youth development program, more so than just a basketball program. What drew me to the program initially was I saw the boys and it was just something about them. And I know what that something is. I saw myself in them. If they're looking for a basketball program and just basketball, then I don't know if FAB is the, is the, is the place. But if you're looking for a full de uh, youth development program, then FAB is the place. I feel it's important that the kids get exposed, especially at early ages, to science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, so that uh, they get interested and then they're more likely to go to college or get a, a career in those fields. We have set quite a few different projects. Uh, this year we worked on our cars where we had real saws and drills. We uh, done, uh, also done our uh, um, rockets, uh, uh, straw rockets, and they learn a little bit about the science behind, uh, behind flight. And we also have done what was uh, catapults, where we learn about the mechanics and a uh, 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 simple machine that the catapult is made after, uh, the lever. So it's very important to introduce them early to um, some quality of materials, such as the saws and drills and some real uh, uh, equipment and tools. <laughs> So they get that spark and maybe later on they'll want to go into be an engineer or, or a science or even work in a, a mechanic somewhere in one of the technology fields. That's, that's half the battle right there, is no, your opponent thinking that they already lost. Right? So spiritual, what do you do spiritually to prepare yourself? The fee is what you have to pay to become champions. You need to have you need to have all three. You got to have focus, energy, and effort. You know, two isn't enough. You need all three of them to be champions. So, how does organization and time management relate to basketball, home life, school, and spirituality? Uh, we we believe being champions is is a lifestyle. Even in de, even in defeat, we still champions. You know, we talk a lot about energy, effort, and focus. You know, is your energy positive? Is your focus there? In life, like so, if you're like prepared for like you're prepared for like what's ahead of in your day in school so that like you have like all your pencils and like, I think those things uh, are impactful because we talk about those things on and off the court. Well it's a research based uh, strategy uh, where um, in which uh, you look at a word and this is how adults read it, most of them we look at words and we break a word that is a two or three syllabic word and we break it apart and we instantly, almost instantly, we can see those parts which are uh, in this program called chunks. Uh, I knew that, uh, that there wasn't really a program out there that, that taught phonics in that way. So this is an innovative way of teaching the strategy of what's called analogies, going from one word and word part to another word uh, by knowing the particular part or the chunk. That's right, the yes. chunk. You get an F oh, so, so what this is, is okay. it's manipulating, changing the first part, and but thinking about what the chunks are. The focus is not on sound it out. We never tell the kids to sound it out. We tell them to chunk it out. We found usually once they start making progress and they know they've made progress, then it really like goes and it's so rewarding. First off, um, he wasn't confident in reading and he, to be totally honest, at a third grade level or in third grade he was at a first grade level in reading and like now that he's been in the reading program and excelled the program, he is reading at a fourth grade to a fifth grade level. I have a, ch a child that's currently in the program. Uh, he's a sixth grader um, and FAB has been just an excellent confidence builder 
He's really developing um, great leadership skills, um, developing um, grit, determination, uh, work ethic. And the life coaching and all three of those things on its own outside of the basketball court, I think is just out of this world. I think it's, it's uh, giving a lot of kids opportunity uh, to play basketball, um, but also learn about themselves uh, through the life coaching sessions, through uh, the habits of the mind. He, he, wants, he wants to help these kids when basketball ends to understand that they're more than just basketball. It's just, like I said, it's a holistic program, and I think that's why it's impacting the community the way it is.